This is me and my baby girl. Let's <laughs> see how fair she is. She's not watching. <laughs> Good day. Welcome to Entertainment Star. Kindly follow my page if you are seeing me for the first time. And please, guys, always share my videos to support me. Thank you, guys, as you share. Wow. Otuo cham. Una don't see him now. This Ede Tochuku met this lady, Ijoma Felix, sometimes 2020. And one thing lead to another. This Abuja-based guy buy this woman for nothing and ran away. But un unfortunately for him, the law have caught up with him. He has been apprehended by the police and here is his confession. But before them, my people, all these Abuja boys, Zere Noha, these Abuja boys, we have had the, the, the bad testimony about them. Abuja boys even dealt with blessing CEO. How much you ordinary person? <laughs> A broken heart, inconsolable. Maureen is still mourning the death of her immediate younger sister, 48 year old Miss Ijoma Phyllis, who was gruesomely killed on 24th of October 2022 at a residence in the Lugwe area of the federal capital territory, Abuja. Every night, every time I remember that the condition I saw my sister, I cried. Because I don't, I will not pray for that type of thing for anybody. The guy kid, kid, just kid. What do I do? I like that so good. Not at home. Get up for days. This is me and my baby girl. Let's see how fresh she is. She's not watching. <laughs> the suspected killer is this 31 year old man she met on Facebook two years ago. <laughs> He's been arrested by operatives of the Nigerian Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, and is now in their custody. He says he met late Miss Felix in a group on Facebook in 2020, and their relationship started on a good note, which made him to move into her apartment later on. However, things later went awry, and according to him, the relationship turned abusive, in which he claims he was the victim. Whenever anyone calls me on the phone, she's... She's always angry. I couldn't express myself. I can't stay on the phone more than five minutes and she's around. She pick up fence, she insults me. And you know this period, I believe neighbors around because sometimes they do come out. Narrating what transpired on October 24th, the suspect says he had an argument with late Miss Phyllis over a Highlander car she gave to him. He had sold the car without her consent and the argument turned violent. When I came around, the argument started all over again about the car, why she sell it, and all that. And it was at this point and at this juncture that she raised her voice, she started insulting and everything. She went to the sitting room, dropped out the home theater on me, which I, I still defended. It was when she got back to the person the second time to come back then, it was really unintentional because I was angry and all that. Yeah, I shoved it, I snatched it away from her and shoved her with it. She fell down. Now, when she was coming up involuntarily, I hit her with the pestle and she, that was when she fell down. She, she started crying and saying, why did I hit her and all of that. After hitting her, the suspect says he took the car belonging to the deceased alongside her phone and other things and left the house. When I left that morning, I parked the car with a friend and went to travel to Port Harcourt. It was while I was in the Port Harcourt that the friend told me that he can um, sell the car and in my own um, he said, maybe say covetousness, and I said, okay, no, fine, if he can get a buy, he should sell the car. So I think the car was sold two days later, and he sent the money to me on the third day. 
Now all this is happening, I wasn't aware she was dead. When contacted, the first public relations officer, Mr. Olumuyiwa Dejobi, says the arrest of the suspect followed the directive by the Inspector General of Police to fish out the culprit and to ensure no stone is left unturned in dealing with criminal elements. For now, investigation is still ongoing as relations of the late Miss Felix appeal for justice to be done.